Its beginnings were a long way from the elegance of its current home, Elliot Hall. The JMSC started life in a single room on the university campus, and from the beginning it had a single focus. It's to produce the, a new generation of journalists, uh, to tell the story of Hong Kong, China and Asia with a global perspective. For an institution dedicated to the business of news and storytelling, Hong Kong just after the handover back to China was the perfect location. And right on the doorstep of a rising giant. China has to be the most important story in the world and Asia under cups of rising. So we have perfect timing. And it, when it really happened, when China rises, when China grows its economy, we are ready. Our students are ready. From its creation, the JMSC started recording milestones, year after year. Coordinating the undergraduate trip. Located in Asia's financial hub, specialization in financial and business reporting was a natural choice. But other programs would soon follow, focusing on media law and China reporting. All of this was happening at a time when the internet was still relatively new, but the JMSC's growing faculty grasped its potential early. So we were sort of like on the leading edge of the technology coming along at that time. Obviously there was a heavy emphasis on reporting and writing, um, but over time we moved into all the digital areas so that really the JMSC, you know, from when it began to where it is now, has transformed itself tremendously. At the cutting edge of the digital revolution sweeping the industry, the JMSC was a pioneer in adopting and adapting the new tools of storytelling. Expanding the faculty with professionals from the industry able to teach young, eager minds how to use them. And helping launch many of their careers even before graduation, with hands-on involvement in the field, on collaborations with some of the world's top media companies. Less than one year ago, it seemed unlikely that the US would even have a pavilion here. To provide the fast-changing news business with the graduates equipped with the digital skills being demanded. And we witnessed the disruption of the news industry worldwide because of technology, because of globalization. And we've been growing with it uh, from the beginning. Um, technology become a platform for everything we do, for all the courses that we teach. The JMSC quickly gained a reputation for developing the potential of its students with internships and field assignments in some of the most challenging corners of the world's most dynamic region. We have a tremendous opportunity to send our students out to many countries in this region, all of whom have different political systems, all of whom operate on different sets of laws. So students looking to sort of get you know, Asian expertise come to us because we're in Hong Kong and easy to get to other places. And I think that's really been to our advantage. The JMSC was also building an international reputation as a voice of authority in the media world, increasingly becoming the host of choice for prestigious events and conferences. A meeting place for academics and working professionals shaping the media industry and the study of it. While still growing the rich choice of programs being offered to its growing student numbers. And I think the more we develop that international reputation, that international expertise, the more that brought students to us because they came here realizing they wanted to work in Asia, this would be the place to come. As the JMSC has kept pace with the latest technologies, it has a keen eye on what direction future technologies will take. 
At the same time, developing its role as a pioneering educator, harnessing technology, often in collaboration with the world's technology leaders, to reach out to potentially vast new audiences. Just as the current media landscape could hardly have been imagined when the JMSC was founded, so predicting the next technological leap may be impossible. But producing the graduates with the adaptive skills to embrace what the future holds is key. And all of them equipped with the qualities of determination, fairness and ethical excellence that are still as essential to journalism no matter how the story is told. Uh, we're only starting. We don't know what the future holds, uh, but then with the orientation, with our commitment, with the passion, and with an excellent faculty, uh, we'll be going forward and keep reinventing ourselves and keep learning.